Nice big glass of uh, one of the house reds here, a Cabernet Sauvignon. You could tell the bowl was heavy with sauce and pasta and meatballs when he set it down. Mm. The pasta still has a little bite to it, a little tooth to it. It's got a spring to it. Oh, the sauce is wonderful. Again, it tastes like fresh tomatoes and you can taste the basil. Italian cooking versus Italian-American cooking, maybe, where we get used to things tasting almost sweeter than they ought to. Here's a good bite. What's in the meatballs? Uh, it's, uh, it's pork and beef. Pork and beef? Thank you. I am enjoying this immensely. As I've dug into the ricotoni, I've realized we actually do have the two different kinds of meatballs that the server was talking about. This one is much smaller. And then we've got the larger one with the Parmesan on top. More like a traditional meatball. This is a little more closely grained and a little chewier. But so incredibly yummy. Mm. I feel like I've been eating overly processed, overly sweet, just touristy food a lot since I've been here. So it's so nice to get off this trip inside a nice restaurant with food that tastes like food, the wine tastes like wine, the tomato sauce tastes like tomatoes, the pasta is well cooked and the meatballs are terrific. Love it. Mm. know the line from the movie from the godfather you have to say it when you're in a true italian restaurant leave the car take the cannoli so we've got chocolate chips and then pistachios on that side we'll start with the start with that side the shell is perfectly baked overfilled but just cheesy a tiny bit salty Sweet, but not too sweet. What a great uh, end to the meal here at Allegro. And now, chocolate side. With the cheesiness of the ricotta filling and the snap of the crust and the chocolate, it's a little bit reminiscent of a chocolate cheesecake, although the ingredients are in a completely different form. It's close. Oh, so good. <laughs> 